Um, you got another one. I do. Wolfie. Excellent. Uh, I love your show. It's a fantastic resource. Thank you. Thank well, you. you guys helped to make it great. Some time ago, my HP printer died, so I got a new printer. I thought Canon was pretty mainstream and would work out of the box. Silly me, I didn't check before I bought it. Okay. It didn't. Sad face. Operating system, Kubuntu 9.04. Printer, Canon PIXMA IP2500. Following a search for how-tos, I downloaded the RPM drivers from Canon and used Alien to convert them to DEBs and install them. I even tried to use it with WinXP and VirtualBox. It didn't work no matter what I tried. Second sad face. Is there a way to get this to work, L-O-L. or have I got a paperweight? Now, do you know what you just read? A techno paperweight. There you go, see? Uh, so what is being said there from Wolfie is that they bought this printer. It's a Canon printer. It's a Pixma, what do they say? An, an IP2500. Mm-hmm. So one of those kind of El Cheapo mm-hmm. kind of store-bought jobby it was inkjets. probably on sale or something. Well, it's just one of those, you know, $45, $50 units. Yeah. So um, got the RPM drivers mm-hmm. from Canon. Canon. That's RPM. That's like the, uh, uh, that's the package manager that is reused by the Red Hat based uh, system. So now we're on Ubuntu, which is Debian based, so he needs to convert it to a Deb, which is done with a program called Alien. Alien. So that's good. It's a start. And install it. And them. it didn't work though. Yeah. Fun. That's Have with I Windows bought XP. a paperweight? That is a good question. <laughs> like, I guess you want to find out when you buy a printer. I mean, you're learning this as you go, right? That you, you kind of want to know that the printer is going to work well. In advance, find out what people say about the brand and stuff. I don't think mm. Canon has a, a hugely good rap for uh, for Linux users because mm. they are uh, pretty low end printers as far as that line that you're using goes. Mm. Uh, and I and I watch out when I buy a printer, and, and I did a feature a long time ago. Here's a chance for you to look at an old episode. I did a feature on uh, buying, you know, buying options for buying a printer. And one of the things I said is that try to find a printer that has cartridges that are that are uh, environmentally friendly and that right. are easy to re- re- refill or and replace. And that last a while. Yeah. You're going to be replacing them, driving somewhere to replace them every week or so. Well, yeah. And I'm not specifically uh, familiar with your printer, but I'll show you how you can find out if your printer that you own or if the printer that you're going to buy, let's say you see one in the, in the sale flyer, uh, you want to see if it's going to work for you. Uh, so let's see the open printing database is where we want to go. So I'm just going to type it in. Oh, I can't type and talk. Okay. Open <laughs> printing database. Here we go. Let's see what it brings up. Openprinting.org slash printerlist.cgi. Or you can just go to openprinting.org and then you'll see on the left hand side there's a database button. So what you want to do is you want to punch in your printer. So here we're going to go Canon. Canon. Scroll down. We want to find the Pixma. I think it was the IP2500. Here we are, almost there. Oh, it's going to be in the Pixma series, pardon me. LMNOP. Oh, right, right, right. Here we go. There. So, we've selected Canon, uh, Canon Pixma IP2500. And this is going to tell us if it's compatible with Linux. And it says that it mostly works, but not everything works. It's going to print up to 4800 by 1200, but it could work. So this, uh, this article tells us that uh, the following driver is known to work, the Canon driver from the Canon website. So it sounds like you, you've already tried using that driver, but what we need to do is find out how we actually need to get that installed. If you've converted the uh, RPM to a Debian package using alien space dash D space and then the name of the RPM package, for those of you who have never done that before, uh, that will create a Debian package. You install it. It should work as far as installing goes, but there might be a couple of other things that you need to do. In the case of this particular printer, I found a forum uh, thread here in the Ubuntu forums, and I'm going to post a link for you. Mm-hmm. But it's, uh, it's somebody who's experiencing kind of a similar problem to you. They used Alien to convert it, and somebody said, well, here's a couple of extra things that you need to do. You need to create some sim links to certain versions of mm. uh, drivers and modules and libs in your Ubuntu system. So you, once you've got them installed, which it sounds like you already have, there might be a couple more steps that you need to proceed with. So what I'll do is I'll post a link to that article. It's uh, article 59.2, 
685. That's uh, 592,685. Uh, but I will post that in the show notes for episode number 106, and I will definitely hope that that works out for you. But in the future, if you're going to be buying a printer, check it out in uh, the Open Printing Database first and see if uh, you see what other people say about it. Do some searching, find out what people say in the forums about it, and see if it's something that is, uh, is going to work really well uh, in Linux. And Linux really is, is, you know, plug in the printer and it works. But a couple brands for you, HP Brother, fabulous. Uh, stay away from Lexmark, Canon. Uh, Canon, not so much. Epson tends to work pretty good in Linux as well. But definitely, HP and Brother would be the two that I would say, uh, in particular, plug and play. And hmm. they work. Uh, my brother, uh, MFC 6490CW, I use that on the network. It's wireless. And all of our Ubuntu systems print to it. It is beautiful. That it's just so rolled awesome. off your tongue. Can you say that again? What MFC sixty four ninety CW? That's the model Can't uh, write that from Brother. Us. It uh, <laughs> once you install the drivers, which uh, which are easy to get off of their website, you can actually use the scanner, the uh, the printer, all that stuff right through the wireless from any computer in the house. Doesn't matter if it's Windows or Linux or whatever. So so that's why I really stand by the Brother printers. I think they're fabulous for that. But at work, I had an HP come in that was uh, needed to be installed in an Ubuntu system. Uh, it was Ubuntu 8.04, and plugged it in, and it just worked. It didn't need anything, so that's a good uh, a good sign as well. Uh, good guy says he just saw a Canon uh, Linux driver for Canon MX860. Cool. Yeah, once you start seeing them actually promoting that they're Linux compatible, uh, like Brother does uh, with their printers, then that that makes me think, okay, yeah, let's let's start looking at them. Um, and even if in the past, now Canon has has always had printers that are a little too low end for my taste um, because of the cartridges primarily. It's always about the cartridges. You buy a printer for 50 bucks, but the cartridges cost you 60. Guess what's ending up in the dump? And that's not good for the environment, if you ask me. So I'd rather have a printer that it's going to be cheaper to replace the cartridges than it is to replace the printer, and uh, and actually be able to you know just continually replace the cartridges and have a printer that's going to last for. Mm. Five ten years, not one that's going to be disposable after you use up the ink. So, but that goes for a lot of different brands. 